Coming here is a stonemason who's worked on buildings like these for nearly 30 years. I come here not for the dates or the periods in architecture, the decorated or the perpendicular. That's not what I come here for. I come to a church for the atmosphere. When you walk inside these chambers, there's a tingle that runs down your spine, isn't there? And the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. And what is that about? That's why I come to a church like this. St Levin in Cornwall, clinging to the side of the cliffs here, is a truly atmospheric church. It tells the story of over a thousand years of village life here in Cornwall. And that's why I come here. I look at the stones, at the granite, at the texture. I look at the feldspar and the mica and the quartz inside that stone. I look at the stained glass around here and I look at these fantastic carved bench ends. If you look at the bench ends and look at the figures that are carved in there, where did those faces come from? The wood carver who carved those didn't have any pattern books. He didn't have anything, he didn't have any William Morris designed um, things to look at. What he did was he looked at the people that surrounded him, who lived in this village in Cornwall. And those faces are what we see today. The decorations, the, um, the symbolism that is in those designs have all been thought about by the local woodcarver who lived in this village. It's almost certain that he would come from here or very close to here. And today art historians call it naive carving. So it's put into a box, it's put a brackets around it, a bit of naive carving. But you know, that's not what that carving is about. That carving is about a skilled craftsman trying to translate something on to his, um, in, on, with the tools of his trade onto the material that he knew, English oak. He's trying to say something. And often you'll get children who come into a church and will run up to this bench end and point to it and go, look, it's this or it's that and it's this. And that's usually exactly what it is. Um, it's not to be looked at in a guidebook and be described by an art historian. It's about a direct connection from a craftsman right to the person, to you, who are coming into this church, maybe for the first time, and you look at it and it has, it gives a feeling to you. And that's what carving, and that's what these churches, these chambers are all about. It's all about transmitting a feeling to the people who come here. A church is the very definition of village life, and that goes back sometimes over a thousand years. It's a place that people who have lived and worked and loved and married and died right around here have been involved with for over a thousand years. It's a place where dreams, war, tears and joy have all been played out. It's a place where people were born, they were baptised here, they came to be married and then eventually their coffin was brought in here at the end of their life. When you look around the fields that surround this church and the village, you think of how contained this place was in medieval times. The church tower above was the telephone, the internet, the newspaper, all those sources of transferring messages in medieval times. Because in the bell tower were the bells. The bells rung to signify birth, death, marriage, sadness, joy and hope. How many times the bell rung and how often it did 
signify to the people who were working in the fields around here what had happened. Maybe it was the sign of death and the people who were working in the fields would stop, lift their heads and listen. And so when you come to a church, it may be your local village church, maybe your parish church, maybe you live in a town, what you're coming here for is to take off your 21st century glasses, put the radio, the mobile phone, the television, the internet, put all those means of communication behind you and just step in to a place like this and really step back in time. It depends how old the church is. This one's about a thousand years old, but come in, breathe in the atmosphere, sit down quietly in a nice quiet spot and let the building talk to you. And believe me, these chambers of our local history do talk to you. The more you sit there and the, quiet you, the quieter you are and the more you look round, each, each piece of masonry, of timber, of wood, of glass, of wrought iron, all the fixtures and fittings, all the different materials, the craftsmen who built this place, they're all speaking to you. You're the person. And that's what you should remember when you come in to a small but fantastically atmospheric place like St Levin in Cornwall.